This is part two of Aruba. Uh, we went to a, a wedding. It was beautiful. It was sandy and pretty and the music was on point and everybody's drinking and singing and, ha and having a great time. Now towards the end of the night, things start to wrap up. They're taking tablecloths off of the tables. When I see them doing that, and I'm looking at my girlfriend, I'm like, motherfucker, I start throwing everything on the table, like, into my girlfriend's purse, okay? With the exception of this phone, which I'm thinking, without thinking, it's hers. I, again, mind you, this looks, like, really bad. Like, imagine, like, you see somebody having, like, a suitcase and, like, putting shit in there, but looking up like this, because that's exactly what I was doing. Like, I was, like try and keep tabs on my girlfriend who is harassing the staff in a polite way. She just wanted to tell them super duperly thank you for all their hard work and giving her alcohol. And I pick up this phone thinking it's her phone. I throw it in my pocket. A young girl comes up to me and I have to use vague names because, you know, something about words. Talk to my legal counsel. And she goes, you have my phone. And I was like, no, I don't. And she's like, yes, you do. And I said, no, I don't. And she's like, it's in your pocket. And I was like, no. And I fucking... I pulled the phone, I pulled out, and I was like, oh, here you go. My mistake right there was not being like, oh my god, I'm so fucking sorry. Oh my god, like, I, I, in my bed, I thought it was my girlfriend. Like, I should have said that in hindsight, but I overlooked that, I guess. To give you some context, the iPhone I have, I don't even use properly. I don't even have music on it. I use an iPod. I, I have two iPods, actually. <laughs> I only have pictures on my phone of things I need to remember. Two of them are for my license plates for my vehicle, my COVID snapshot, picture of my family, my grandma, picture of my girlfriend, picture of my dog, my health insurance card. I don't do banking. Up until my the job I have now, I didn't even lock my phone. The mistake here was not being cognizant of what phone I, I took, right? So I gave the phone back. I can only assume in this story there was some type of communication amongst that spread like wildfire that I was committing crimes and stealing from people. When they had taken the tablecloth and I'm fucking shoveling things in here, and I was like, oh, not enough room. If you were to see me from far away, I mean, I'd be like, what the fuck? People were going to the after party. Me and my girlfriend were like, let's just go home and order room service. It's like, okay, cool. So while she orders room service, I'm like, I'm gonna go find a cigarette, which by the way, I brought like a pack of cigarettes and then like realized nobody on the fucking island smokes unless you want to pay like $9 for a lighter or shippers for a lighter. Like that's how they get you. They sell you $5 packs, but then you gotta pay like $100 for a lighter. I go into the after party where I'm like, surely somebody here has it. And I get approached by a, a relative. Very happy that that occurred, that somebody approached me in that like 45 minute gap between the end of the event and the after party that I wasn't even gonna go to. And I got asked if I was stealing and then everybody was talking about me stealing. And I was like, what? I explained exactly what I just said, but the response was just like, are you stealing? Did you steal? You can tell me I'm trying to help you. I was asked so many times by the one person that I literally was like, yeah, yeah, I stole. Yeah, I fucking stole. And now I'm starting to get loud because you literally want me to say that I stole. Like, I'm like, yeah, I fucking stole. Like, what are you gonna do about it? You don't know what to believe at this point. And so I just, I was like, okay, clearly nobody here has a lighter. Like that was just like my main goal. Nobody came up to me, nobody. I had no idea. I mean, if I thought that, I wouldn't have even showed up to the after party. I would have sat outside with a little stick and tried to make my own fire and try to light my own little cigarette right there. I'm just like throwing fuck yous out left and right because at the end of the day, what really hurt my feelings is that the people closest to me didn't even, some of them didn't even come up to me and ask what the hell happened. The one that did, didn't believe me. Now, now I'm, I'm like, you wanna know what? Let's be a criminal there. I, I start posting, I was like, I robbed, I robbed 19 year old, young girl, yes. I robbed a 19 year old and an old lady and like, I, I actually had a lot, a lot longer of a list. I just wanted to instigate at this point. And if I forget T, is T instigating? I don't know. I decided to suck it up and be like, you know what, maybe I said some disrespectful things. And I decided to go up to my couple of my family members and I was going to be like, you know, I didn't really mean the fuck yous on fuck yous, although um, I did mean them. And then I found, find out that two grown ass men, literal relatives of mine, call America at this time to tell on me. Let me tell you right this, had these two grown men come up to me, I sure as fuck to the one would have said, 
There are some things I hold dear to my heart. I don't lie, I don't steal, and I sure as fuck don't cheat. And I really want to emphasize the word cheat. I know how it fucking look, for fuck's sakes. Like, if there's crumbs on your face, then you probably ate the cookie out the cookie jar. But no, I kind of didn't. I kind of, like, it, it, it was just a perception thing. So, at this point, I'm kind of just like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, I would have rather, I would have rather been kicked out of the resort and had to pack my bags and go to Airbnb than have to hear the around about talk and see the cowards that I was surrounded by. Honestly, it was kind of like the best thing that happened because, because nobody would look at my direction. I mean, like, you fuck, again, grown ass adults. It makes me kind of sad for them, but like, I had a great trip. If I thought I had the opportunity to approach young girl with phone, I would have been like, I'm sorry that this went down like this because I didn't, like, I don't need to rob, but first of all, if I'm robbing people, they're not probably going to be, like, a familial connection here. Like, it doesn't, like, who does that serve, right? I am so very, very sorry that it looked that bad. Trust me, I am, because I did it. I'm literally... I can't, I'm not even gonna lie, like, it looked bad. It looked really bad. Um, but I definitely didn't steal. I mean, if I'm gonna steal shit, for fuck's sake, I make six figures and I could buy like a thousand iPhones right this second. I was in hysterics that evening because of not being believed by the people that, like, were closest to me. Um, and that was the worst part. But, you live and you learn. In this life we lead, the word family is hung over your head like it's supposed to mean something great, right? Like, if they're in your bloodline, that's your family, right? You know, but really, I, I find that the word family holds people down and puts an obligation on people to, like, always be there, always forgive, always, you know, do for them, help them. But really, I can guarantee you right now, you can sit here, think of a family member, and then think of a friend. And I bet you, you can think of a friend that is more of a family member to you than your own fucking family. And that's life, and that's relationships. And so when you have falling outs with family, or friends, or whoever, people are just people, and it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be best friends with your brother. I mean, for fuck's sakes, people's brothers and nephews and uncles weren't even at this destination because they all talk shit and don't get along. Like, and holy fuck, do you know how many lies go on? Be Honestly, that's a whole thing. I, mean, I know what happened. I know what didn't happen. And I know concretely that not one person had my back as much as they'd like to say that they did. Shit happens. And you know what? If you wanted to check the boxes of all of the people at this at this venue here, I literally could probably make a hundred thousand videos <laughs> about the terrible things that they literally have done that week or in life. That shit's true. That shit's true. No tears will fall from these eyes. It was nice to have the opportunity to share my truth. It was nice to have the opportunity to share my feelings. I will take that and we'll put it on the shelf. That's all I gotta say. I think it's important to hold yourself accountable always. Snitches end up in ditches. <laughs> I can't even take myself serious. Never let anybody get in the way of your happiness. We're done.